give you guys a quick update on where I'm at with my tank at the moment and some changes I've got happening. It's that time of year I always seem to update and change some things on my tank. So let's start. So I've had some bespoke dosing containers and a auto water top off container made by Deep Reef in the UK. It's quite difficult to get acrylic dosing containers and auto water top off containers in the UK. So I've had these bespoke made. These are one litre a piece. And that is 25 litres. And I'm quite happy with them for the price. Like really cheap, I think. Crazy, really. Um, let's hope they hold water. <laughs> let's have a look in this. So, obviously made quite sturdy inside by the looks of things. Obviously I'll be putting it in and having it in the garden just to make sure it's all good. I'm sure it will be. Got a little window in there as well to see where the water's at. And I'm quite happy with them. Like they're decent, you know what, for the money, I am really happy. I think they worked out to about £115 or something for the lot. So in the UK, I think that's quite good. I've also got a new doser so I'm going to be looking to dose some other bits and bobs in my tank I've got the um, I think it's the coral colours I've not started dosing yet I've done a video on them that's purely because of the issues I've had with dinos and cyano and god knows what else which I'm slightly battling still and I'll probably do another update on that in a couple of days but I've gone for another doser it's pre-owned so I've got it off of eBay I've got a GHL Prophylox 2 don't really use it, it's just, you know what, it's, it's a fancy temperature probe at the minute. And I never really got to grips with it, so to speak, I didn't give it the time on my planted tanks, didn't really need to. So, I'm actually, this is where things get a bit strange, I'm actually in the market for an aquarium controller, a computer. And for me, the options I've got are GHL, so the Prophylux 4, or an Apex. Um, and I'm right on the fence. Now, with a GHL, for me, they look amazing. And I, I always do this on videos and you know, people say, oh, well, does it matter what it looks like? It's all about how it works. And I, I do get that, but build quality in that on these look amazing. Um, and on the Apex, not so much. In, in my opinion, I know there's people love Apex and they're the, clearly the, the more um, prominent brand in the UK in, and definitely in America, but as I said, for me, the Apex does not look like this. Like this, I'd have this on, on outside. You could, you know, I'd make a thing where you can show it off. I wouldn't do that with an Apex. I know there's some really good layouts out there where people have done their cupboards and stuff, but you know, they don't compare to, to how this could look, I think. But there is an issue. GHL software is a pig, and so I wanted to get a doser anyway, another doser, and I might get another one of these and get rid of the Kamoa, but it was almost like a test run for me. Getting this and seeing if I could figure it out was like a test run to see, all right, what does the software look like? How problematic is it? The Apex, I kind of would assume would be easier, looking at videos, etc. But, so that was it, you know, this was almost, I want a doser, and this will let me know whether I can actually get on with the Prophylux 4. That was my thought process. I've got it set up. I've got it not fully wireless, so it's got its own kind of Wi-Fi adapter in it to a certain extent, I believe. And so you can connect your phone to it, so to speak, while you're in the house, like via an app and control it. But at the minute, I've not got it where I can kind of be 10 miles away and use it. You have to use a slightly different cloud-based system, and this is where things get a little bit complicated with these. Same with the Prophylux 4. When you first get these, you have to go onto their like their web page on a computer, on a PC, not a Mac. Um, if you're going to use a Mac, you do need to download Windows, so you get like an emulator. Just Google it, you know, there's loads out there where you can run, obviously, the Apple software and the Windows software side by side, but you do need to kind of plug it in to update it, do all the firmware updates, etc, etc. And it's not straightforward, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, it's really not straightforward, but let's just say you do get that working. Then you can download the app. The app is not bad. It's nowhere near Apex Fusion. 
just by looking at pictures of two and, and using this app now. And I believe it's called GHL Connect. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, and it seems like a basic um, fusion. You've got tiles on it. You can add, you can delete tiles. So they've not really had stuff. They have had an app, but I don't think they've had it quite like that before. So potentially the software could go to apex quality. So that's where we are with that. To then connect at while you're out in the wild, so to speak, you've got an option. You can either do port forwarding on your router. I don't know. I, that's not for me. I just want to collect, connect wirelessly. I'm sure it's straightforward, and if I really went into it, I could probably sort it out. Or you can use their cloud-based system. So you're running three programs. You're running your PC. I think it's called GCC. That's what people abbreviate it at. And that is for when you want to... You can control everything through that program if you want, but that's for where you're going to do your updates and when you're going to first set the system up. It's almost like you have to do that to then allow the cloud-based software to work, etc. So that's one program. You then got the cloud-based software, which is the one you're supposed to use when, you, when you're out in the wild. You've then got the app, which is you know, a standalone app that you use while you're at home. It's wireless, isn't it? You're not plugging it into your phone, obviously, but you couldn't walk down the street with the app start using it unless you do port forwarding on your router now already it's getting a little bit complicated I'm sure it ain't for some people but for me I'm like oh god so anyway I've got it working it's accurate uh, you know with the software some people have moaned about it being clunky it don't look as, as sexy as the fusion no definitely not but you know what I don't mind the software it reminds me of a really old mobile phone so you've got menus, you've got a drop down box of, you know, like probes, um, dosing, whatever, whatever, going down the side, you double click on it and it'll open up another list. And then, you know, you're just constantly in drop down boxes. So a lot of it is pre-configured, you're just doing drop down boxes. But it does look like Windows 98 or 97 or, or, or whatever you want to call it. So it does look dated, but all right, it's not whiz bang, but I'm okay with it. So this is where we're at and this is rounding now. GHL looks, in my opinion, much better than the Apex. Better build quality, would have it on show. Software is a little convoluted. I've got, I've got it working, but I had to go into some really, you know, I had to go into DOS on my PC. And that, for me, I'm not confident doing that. I did it and I got it done. Um, there's a, there are some good videos on YouTube, to be fair, on the GHL, really good. Um, in my opinion, the GHL videos are better than the Apex videos from the official companies. That's just my opinion. And honestly, the, the GHL videos are amazing. If they had another 50 videos on there, I wouldn't even be having this conversation. I would just get the GHL. So, so that's my thought process. The Apex looks, in my opinion, like a toy. Loads of modules you can add onto it, but I don't want modules. We, we, the Prophylax 4, it all connects in the back. It all goes into the unit. It's, you've not got loads of things standing around. But you do have a lot more modules. Like you can do the feeder. You know, you've got the Ecotech adapter. There is one for GHL, but it will only do the pumps. Whereas the Apex one will do the lights as well. The software is much better on the Apex though. I know that already without even using it. So... This is the decision I've got. Build quality looks amazing in my opinion. Software's a bit itchy. Or buy the thing that don't look great, but software is more usable, more on there, more adaptable, easier to connect, easier to update. And it literally is a toss between the two, and I mean that. I'm on a 50-50 fence with this, but, and I've rambled a bit, <laughs> but I think, by the time I do my next video, I will have one or the other. Both units do an amazing job, so I could flip a coin and let's see where it lands.